Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to talk about in this video is software defined WAN or SD WAN. So it's, it's been coming up a lot and it's like, it's almost like zero trust, right? And whereas you have a lot of vendors who want to put their little tweak or their little stamp on it. And I'm just going to give you a brief kind of high level overview um, hopefully give you some base understanding about what SD-WAN is and how it may help you or may not help you, but at least you'll have a little bit of a better idea. You know, it's one of those terms that it gets thrown around just like zero trust. So let's, um, let's take a look. Here's a little presentation that I put together. So SD-WAN, Software Defined Wide Area Network. So what exactly is SD-WAN? Well, it is a software defined wide area network. So a wide area network is a network that you have access to that is over a, you know, a larger geographical area. But uh, basically SD-WAN is policy-based routing on steroids, right? So what's policy-based routing? Uh, policy-based routing is uh, sending traffic you know, specified traffic out of different WAN or internet connections uh, or VPN connections based on the type of traffic or the destination. So how does SD-WAN, Software Defined Wide Area Network, enhance policy-based routing? Well, it allows all of that those same, same types of things that SD-WAN does um, and, and, and with policy-based routing, but it adds rules for latency, jitter, loss, uh, dynamic policies based on client uh, or source. It's usually in an interface of its own where you've got like a command center and things are very easy to configure. Um, you know, you can do wholly meshed networks and be very um, granular about where certain types of traffic goes, right? I want voice traffic to all go out of this WAN connection or over this VPN connection and web traffic needs to go out here or I want all YouTube traffic to go out of WAN A and all voice to go out of WAN B and the rest of the internet to go out of WAN C, right? And then you can have different quality of service based on where that traffic is going. So SD-WAN can use regular internet connections, WAN connections, VPNs, LTE, MPLS, fiber, you know, um, and the traffic definitely, if we're sending it out over the internet, remember to make sure that it is secured. So who makes SD-WAN products, right? We're going to talk about this. The list of who doesn't is probably shorter than the list of who does. But some of the popular vendors are Cisco, Barracuda Networks, Palo Alto, Silver Peak, Fortinet, Zero Tier. Yes, Zero Tier can be considered an SD-WAN product. VMware, Juniper Extreme, WatchGuard, Mushroom Networks, PepLink, the list goes on and on and on and on. Um, companies, now this is, it's popping up as a service. So companies like AT&T and Verizon will sell you SD-WAN as a service, but it is not cheap, very expensive. It rides over their private networks, um, not cheap at all. Software that we use like PFSense and OpenSense, um, and even vendors like Ubiquity can emulate the basic features of SD-WAN or have plugins that allow SD-WAN. So both PFSense and OpenSense can be extended to work a little bit more in this, you know, using zero tier, tail scale, all these things where we can build out these dynamic networks, these dynamic wide area networks. Uh, Ubiquity has the traffic routes, which is a, a beefed up version of policy-based routing. So it can kind of do some of this. It's not as... Uh, dynamic um, or as in depth as some of the end other vendors, but it meets the uh, the litmus test to kind of be considered here. Um, in the end, though, SD WAN may just be magic tunnels that teleport our packets. One can never tell. So I hope that gives you a little bit of a better idea of what SD WAN kind of is. Um, it's it's combination of technologies, technologies that have been around for a long time to create this, this kind of new thing. Is it new? I don't know. Maybe the way that the information is presented and maybe the way that the network is configured is new. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to save this. I'm going to um, 
leave a download link for this presentation because I think that uh, my head during the presentation was probably covering some of this. So you'll have access to that. I'll put that link down in the description. And uh, if this helped you uh, clear this up or um, uh, maybe even sparked greater curiosity, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe, comment, share all those good things. Follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below along with our affiliate links, our Patreon link and if you need IT consulting, reach out at willyhow.com. Click hire us, contact us, fill that information out. And someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. We can help you figure out what type of SD-WAN you need. Do you need SD-WAN, right? These are all conversations. These are all things that we have to scope and kind of figure out. So um, the AT&T and the Verizon salesman, They'll, more, they'll be glad to sign you up for services that you may not need. But reach out to us if you've got any questions about this. If you've got any questions that you think I can clarify about this or that I didn't answer, put them down in the comments and I will answer as soon as I can. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.